How's it going guys, Abby here, and today I'm going to show you guys the black drum slash tarpon spot here in Fishing Planet at Blue Crab Island. Now this spot, you will be going ashore once you get there, so you're going to need a good rod holder, obviously. The setup I'm going to be using is the same as it was in the tarpon video, so it's a pretty heavy duty setup, guys. You're going to need a heavy duty setup here, it's just the bottom line. Uh, when you're catching these big fish, you're going to need a big setup. Now you might have the DLC rods, you might have a combination of a bunch of different things, but as long as it's uh, decently... Uh, strong and heavy at least over 20 20 plus kilograms uh, test uh, so that's about 40 50 pound test you're gonna need uh, something that big but this is what I'm gonna be using here if you guys want to just take a look and copy it we're gonna be using 70 hooks and large minnows with this setup so all you're gonna do is head over to the boat area here you're gonna hop in your boat oops not do that you're gonna start the engine and you're gonna head out towards the tarpon spot by the boat Alright guys, so here is the spot here. You can see the markers are set up. So where we're actually going to be fishing is just in this little hole back here. But what we're going to do, so the boat's not in the way, we're going to go around the other way and park the boat on the other side. So just back up here. Head around the other side and you'll see what I mean. Go ahead, park the boat like so. Now we're going to go ashore here. And this is where you're going to be fishing from. Now you can fish almost any uh, any length out there. I do have some markers set up. Now the three back markers are just to show me the depth. Uh, you can see here I kind of have it labeled off so that way I don't hit the, the sand wall here. But this is a unique uh, black drum spot right there. But basically anywhere in there, you're going to be able to catch fish. So I'm going to go ahead, fast forward to the next day, get my rod set up, and I'll show you guys uh, where I'm going to be casting and how quick you get a bite. All right, so it is the next morning now, day five. We have a completely empty keep net. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down here. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit just because I kind of like to a little bit more now than I used to. Tilt it up. Now, I'm just going to cast out. I'm going to put one way back there by the marker. And remember guys, when you're using bottom rods, uh, you can clip your line. Obviously, if you're using float rods, just cast out wherever you want. But I'm going to be using bottom rods just because they're a little bit easier and they're my preferred fishing style. I'm going to lower the drag a little bit too, just in case. I don't want to break anything. Basically, I'm just going to cast these all out here and just have them sitting there. Now, you can go with a smaller hook size. You want quicker bites, but 7.0, 8.0 will do pretty good here. Uh, you're looking for for good fish you want uniques and trophies right so it, it's not necessarily about the speed of the bites but it's about the quality of the fish so at the end of the day it's not a huge deal but you guys can experiment with what you like also if you have scaled sardines you can go ahead and use those here too um i just had i didn't buy too many before i came here so i don't have any but large minnows will definitely definitely do the trick and you can see here there's some um water circles there so i'm just gonna go ahead and cast one really really short there we go. Now, also, if you do have a lure set up here, like I have the new Peru DLC rod, but if you have a casting setup or a lure setup that's capable of bringing in these tarpon, I just go ahead, use the 7-0 popper, just like you were in the tarpon video, and just cast out, and that should get the job done too. If you want to up the speed of your fishing, you want to not just be sitting here. Uh, but there you go. You basically just sit here. I will fish for a little bit and I'll show you guys some of the catches I get. All right, as you guys can see, we pulled out a tarpon from this area. This was the very shallow one as well. I did actually have one scaled sardine left, I guess. So that just goes to show you, you can use those if you want to, or you can use large minnows. It just depends on what level you are and what you have at the time. But I'm going to keep on fishing here. Hopefully we can grab maybe a unique tarpon, a unique permit, a uh, unique black drum, Something of the sort that's a unique, just so I can show you guys that it does work. There's the trophy tarpon, guys. Same spot, really, really shallow. 
I will uh, put a marker on here just so you guys kind of have an idea where to cast. But there you go. Super, super close by, like a, a few meters out. All right, guys, there's a black drum now. It's not a unique, but you can catch them over there. Uh, we got another fish on here, so let's just quickly go ahead, see what this one is. And we're going to be glitching through the water here. Might as well run at it and get it a little bit quicker. And it is a permit not bad so you guys can see you can catch all different types of fish here basically anything that you can catch out on the uh, actual water on a boat it's just obviously you get the benefits of being with a rod set up and having a couple different rods going out and doing what you like i'm going to keep casting out towards that marker there all right guys there is a red drum again not a unique but can catch the new drum fish here all right guys here is a trophy black drum i caught you can see this is actually the biggest one i've caught so far um, I'm a little bit surprised at that because I have caught a few unique, so maybe it was a bug, but anyways, 23 kilograms, 1500 XP, $2,800, plus they're really, really cool looking fish, honestly, they're really, really nice looking. I'm going to keep going, and I'll show you guys some more catches. Here's the trophy red drum I got, guys, very good fish, good XP, good money. These are the type of fish you're going to be catching here. Here we go, guys. A nice trophy black drum there. I still haven't caught a unique yet, so again, it depends on luck like everything else in this game. But you guys can clearly see there is a good amount of fish out here and you will fill up your keep net relatively quickly and make some money here. I'll keep going for a few more days here just to see what else I catch. But you guys can already tell this spot's pretty good. And if you don't like fishing on a boat with just one rod, this is a good alternative. There we go, guys. I finally pulled in a unique black drum here. It's great XP, awesome money. I did get this one on the one that's a little bit closer to where I'm standing. I'll pull out the map marker for you guys just so you have an idea. You can see right there it's in that exact same spot as that other marker now that is about 18 meters out i'll throw the conversion up for you guys there for that spot and then let me just cast out or pull up this other rod here and show you guys where that uh, marker is way in the distance it's about 52 meters again i'll throw up the conversion for you guys there but as you guys can see this spot is pretty solid you'll definitely catch a lot of fish here plus it's pretty relaxing just sit here stare at the the nice waterway and just kind of relax while you're fishing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one hey everyone thanks for watching make sure to check out the description the links to my social media platforms and discord where you can come hang out make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video and also comment down below and i'll try to respond as best as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one